cars going by out there at the stop sign that you can see. Uh, that's Route 170, excuse me, that's Route 78. And you turn off that coming from Havana. Let's see if there's a car going by. That car is headed toward Havana. So we'd be coming from the other way. Turn off of that road. Come down this lane, which is about a tenth of a mile. Let me turn around here. As you see, it's wooded on both sides. And right through there, you really can't see a whole lot. But if you can, I've got a tent in there. That's my property as well. But let's take a walk down this little beach road, as they call it to Matanza Beach and this first clearing would be the Schroeder residence. Okay as we come up to this sign, this sign can you believe it or not guys, caution children at play, that does not mean my kids, that means me. I'm out there playing all the time. So let's continue walking down the uh, beach road and as we come up this is the Schroeder abode. And you can see our address here shortly. Let me stop and zoom on this. Yep, that's the address. 14049 East County Road, 1350 North. Remember that. And there's the Schroeder House. Complete with decorative pumpkin, flag dealy, and of course we had to have our welcome sign. Since we live down here on the beach, we have to have welcome to our cabin above the garage door. And uh, let's see what else. A little landscaping that Mike did. Beautiful mums in bloom in fall. And Gina put the uh, beautiful hearts on the planters in front of the windows. And Gina's dad made the wonderful heart shutters. Gina couldn't live without them. I guess it's a girl thing. But that's the house from the outside, pretty much. Let's continue to walk past the house through the jungle to the far corner of the yard, back down the beach road. I hope no one goes by and sees me talking to myself. They'll think I'm normal. Anyway. Let's get down to the very corner of this lot right here and look back toward our house. That's the house from this side and we go all the way way over there. See that ladder? That ladder, that's the edge of our property on that side. It's about 300 feet away. Let's go down this side of the property Put rail fence the neighbors and I put in. Long story behind that. We'll talk to you if you're really interested about it. And there's Gina's garden. Little herb garden that we put in this year. Let's take a walk through the herb garden. Believe it or not, inside this little birdhouse lives a frog. And every once in a while he'll stick his head out. Of course he won't do it now. That would be neat. Let's see if I can't get him to come out. Hello, Mr. Frog. Anyway, believe it or not, a frog does live in there. And this is her herb garden. There's a bunch of stuff. Herb and stuff shmi and herbs and those stones there came off of uh, Crazy horse out there in South Dakota. Okay, more herb me and it looked a lot better in the summertime. It's coming fall and the, all the things are dying. Let me get through the garden. Let's go over to the other corner of the property. And this is a, as you can see, there's our neighbors to the back. That's Gina's grandma. And you can see how she likes us. Hmm. That's all over this fence. But again, that's a long story. So here's our corner property this way. Uh-oh. I see a wild basset lurking. Let's go zoom up on the wild basset of love. Here we have a fence. Thought I had to move, but let's not get into that now. 
Sissy. There's the wild basset hound lurking in the midst. The wild basset of Omaha. There's an ivy we're trying to start to get on this fence that Gina stole from her daycare. And here's an ivy type dealy that we brought home from Colorado, my sister's house. Hopefully they'll make it through the winter. But uh, there's the back of the house. Swing set. Let's get to the gate. That shorter built. Uh, have to watch out for Sissy's landmines. Come here, Sissy. Yeah, all right. She's really smart. Here she comes. The wild basset hound. Dee dee. Look at that. Okay, get me dirty. Wild basset. Sissy. Say please. <coughs> oh. Say please. <coughs> yes, and that is the only trick she knows. But she's just a lovable sissy love. Okay, back of the house. I left plastic on from the back porch. Never took it off. Swing set. Took me five hours to build. I'm trying to watch out for landmines as I walk, so excuse the camera angles. There's the back of the house, the back door. Porch is pretty nice, but we hardly ever get to use it. It's either too hot or too cold. But this is the backyard behind the house. Play little hoops. You can see I haven't played in a while. Great. Let's go through the fence again. Between the house and the garage. And say goodbye to the backyard. Sissy's domain. Bye, Sissy. Yeah, it's the wild basset of Omaha. And this is going between the house and the garage. Fire hydrant, you know why. Moms, beautiful moms. Let's walk over to the other corner of the yard, past the garage, over the rotten railroad tie, into what I call the mosh pit. And Danielle and I are sleeping out tonight, that's why I have this set up. Old deer stand. We also have a little mini, mini, Blah. Easy for me to say. Mini wiener roast. And let's see, our property goes to that post on that side. All the way down there to that post with the pink string on it. Like I said, across the uh, ladder, there's our fire getting started. Mm, you can just hear the crackling. Wood so wet from all the rain we have. There's a swing glider dealy that Schroeder built. Part of our 100 foot ladder extension that we replaced. A barge rope that Danielle loves to hang on. Let me go stand back over here. There's our property line right there. And right there. Let me stand back here by the ladder. Oh, there's where the groundhog lives. Right down there. Stand back by the ladder, you can look at the property from here. And there. It goes way over to that corner where I was before. And you saw the ladder. That's about 300 feet away. So this is our house on the 28th of September, 1996. And it's a beautiful day. Well, let's go back through to the garage and in the house for the in-house tour. And Gina will probably kill me because she doesn't believe the house is clean. But any guy I know will think it's immaculate. So I'm continuing on with the tour. Up into our steps. There's Brie in a little Halloween decor. 
I'll get this picture at night too. It looks pretty neat at night with the lights on. Coming into the, oh, I had to explain that. Here, I'll do, I'll do a drive-by with the camera. I can't see what's going on here. There we go. And Gina loves that. Not really. Every time you walk. Every time you walk by it, it goes off. Schroeder House, established 1993. It's going into the house. This is the interior. As you walk in, this is our living area. That's the throne. Okay. Good panoramic view. Greg ought to remember this picture. We painted that down there in Champagne. Turn the light on here. Hope that helps or not. Let's get a better look at the picture. Believe it or not, I painted this. Okay, going through past the hutch, this is the dining area. And that's where Chelsea eats. Not very clean windows. That's where Sissy likes to look out the windows. And some more firefighter paraphernalia. Okay, let's see. Do a quick pan. Back up and through here. Blah, blah, blah. Chelsea's little array of toys. And the kitchen. And our tins. That's that back door that goes to that back porch. Apple's five cents. And here we go. To teach is to touch lives for ever. A, B, C, one, two, three. I can read. Okay. Let's go into, back into the living room and the throne. Gotta have a picture of the throne. There we go. Looking back toward the door we came in. That's where we came in the house. The TV. And there's the 1996 Firefighter of the Year Award that I have not won, but since I am the president, I had to order it and I'm going to display it as long as I can. Okay, say hello to me. Hello, me. Going down the hallway. There's the kitchen again. Let me see, I'll shoot you out the back porch here. Temperature today, uh, 63 degrees and 65. There's a the back porch from the inside view. Coming back in, this is what time it is right now. 4:23. And here's a gate. We've always got gates. There's a hallway from the kitchen to the living room, goes down the hallway. Wipe your feet. First door we we'll go to is Chelsea's room. I'll turn a little light on in here. There we go. This is Chelsea's room. And I'll stand in the middle of it and do a pan up and down. She has her own little TV to watch her Barney and Winnie the Pooh. Her closet area, dollhouse, back to the door we came in, there's her big girl bed, Pocahontas. Okay, a few stuffed animals, back through, leaving this area, going into the throne again. This is the bathroom. Okay, I'll step in. Hello, me. Ah, that's here. Oh, gee, I had to have those lights. In the bathroom area, small. 